So I was watching that uh, the documentary on the Joystick Warriors, and it was just talking about. It was mostly just talking about people who play games like um, what's it called, Call of Duty, GTA, you know, stuff like that that promotes uh, violent action. You know, the ones that promote violent, the games that promote violent action, cause you know mental mental stuff on the people who play it. You know, kids who play it. You know, like increase um, increase aggression. You know that they're more aggressive. You know, they cause what was it called? They said desensitize desensitization desensitization. You know where where it would become more like where they well, like I say they they see someone get killed in front of them. They're not gonna have like a normal reaction like you know like that like be scared and be like oh I've seen this millions of times already. You know like that, that that's the mental stuff that. That's what they were talking about in the video, where they lose feeling, like their like their feelings go numb towards violence, you know. So when this stuff happens, actually a school shooting or you know stuff that is supposed to have you alarmed, like frightened, they're just gonna be like, it's 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 nothing, right? But you know that's that's not the reaction you're supposed to have. You're supposed to have a reaction like flight. What's it called? Uh. The human instincts, you know, like the flight instincts, you know, like you see danger, run away from it. But they see it, they're not going to, you know, react normally, right? But also in games, they're probably going to think something else that they were talking about in the, in, the, in the documentary. They were saying that if kids play, want to play war games, why don't they join the war? You know, they're saying that kids think or... You know, people who play it, teens, that when they play it, they feel like it's realistic, right? Like, war and, you know, Call of Duty, it is two different things, but they feel like it's real. Like, they, this is what real, this is what war is, is like. But in real war, you're not just skydiving into, you know, whatever, right? Yeah, you skydive, you know, like that, but you don't just go straight into action, you have to walk miles, you know, you have to walk towards the destination, right? Because you're not going to just skydive onto enemy territory. You're going to get shot down just because it's, it's too dangerous, right? You don't know that territory. So you have to land outside the territory where you're trying to invade or, you know, wherever you're trying to go in an actual war. You can't just land there, you know. You got to land a good distance away, good distance away. Mile, we know, however, you know, the operation is land away from territory, then you walk towards the territory. There's, they don't put that in the games where you have to walk, you know, for hours towards the territory, you know, that they, they don't put that. But the, 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 the kids, you know, the people who play these games, they don't know about that. They just kill, 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 right? Now, that's their main thing, right? They just kill, they don't even care about the story anymore. They just, you know, there's like gonna kill this dude this dude you know this dude right here and nothing they were talking about in the in, in the documentary was um what's it called the when they kill people in real life those people have families but when you play the game when you kill someone you don't think about you know like oh that person had a family obviously as you know it's a game right but it, it's still you know something to think about if like you know like if they're trying to take it as, you know, like real life, they don't think about, oh, this person had a family, you know, that person had a wife, mom, dad, you know, their parents, their relatives, they don't even know he's dead. You're the only person who knows he's dead. Him and the other, you and the other people around you are the only ones that know that that person is dead. Their relatives don't even know that he's dead. You know, like his body's just laying there. His parents, his relatives are, you know, at home, you know, doing what they're doing, not knowing, praying that, you know, that he's safe, that, you know, he makes it back. But he didn't, you know, he died at that instant, but they don't know that. And in the games, you don't think about that. You just play it, play it, kill people, kill people, kill people, kill people. So then in the documentary, they're saying that. So yeah, they, 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 they don't think about that another thing they don't think about is like you know the safety when you play call of duty gta whatever right 
you get shot, your screen turns red, you know, she's like, oh, I'm taking damage, I'm taking shots. Then, you know, you heal up like that just by just standing still, you know, walking, not getting shot, you know, you're full, full health again. But in real life, you get shot once, you're not gonna be, be good until you get that removed, you know, you get the proper, you know, uh, procedures done to the wound, right? But in Call of Duty, you get shot, you wait a couple seconds, you're all good, right? You can have a full rocket launcher blow up next to you. You're going to take some damage, right? Then after a couple seconds, you're going to be good. But if you, in real life, if you get shot by a rocket launcher, you're not going to be good, you feel me? They were saying that, that there is no concern for safety when you play these games. When you play games, you just run around, you know, whatever. You're not worried about dying. You're not worried about getting shot, you know? You're like, oh, I'm gonna I'm run over here, you know, and get shot, you die, I'm like, all right, whatever. We got, we come back in. But in real life, in war, real life, you can't be, you know, doing all that, you feel I me? Mean? Like, you can't just be like, shooting in the wide open areas, right? Because if you die, you 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 don't get to respawn. You 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 don't come back, right? You die, you die. You feel me? You get shot, you get shot. You don't you don't you don't recover in ten seconds. You feel me? You you it is not the same at all. But that's what they're saying in the the documentary that teens kids who play it they they have like a false uh sense of what war actually is. There's a lot of waiting. There's a lot of this. It's not. Just full on action and action and action and action, right? It's just not like the obviously, you know, the action happens, right? But when there's action, it's not, ooh, this like, you know, like, we love this. Nobody wants war. Nobody wants to be at war. Nobody wants this person to die. That person has family, cousins, siblings, parents, kids, right? No, no nobody wants war, but. And games, they're like, oh, brand new war game just came out. But, you know, like, it's, they, they get like a false, you know, for, for false, uh, uh, false idea of, you know, what it actually is. And like, just like the overall documentary, it was nice, right? You know, like it was just showing how people view it, right? adults view it they see kids playing it all the time this and this and they and they think that the kids are getting um false false readings on 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 on, on everything right you know which they are right because but it's just a game and i, I don't fully agree with it because i play them you know i play call of duty you know stuff stuff like that but it's just games. It's just to play. I, I don't be going outside, you know, like, you know, like M15, you feel me? Like stuff like that. And like try to shoot people and, sh and stuff like that. You feel me? But it's, it's, it's not common. I haven't met anybody that's like actually like that. Maybe it happens. Maybe that, but I don't think they be inspired by, by video games. I don't think people that shoot, shoot up schools or, you know, just on the streets, I don't think they be inspired by GTA or um, Call of Duty. I don't think, you know, they're like, I've been playing too much Call of Duty, finna shoot up a school or finna go shoot somebody. It doesn't make you want to do anything. Yeah, you get hyped, excited, but it's just for the game, for winning, for, you know, not wanting to lose, you know. This is just, just that road rage. I mean, not road rage. Game, you know, when you rage in the game, that that's not, it's aggression, but... It's not, you know, like like that where like, you're finna shoot somebody. It's just like, you know, you lost. You know, like just like you were hoping to win, but you lost. It's 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 not like that. You might be you might break a controller, but the mindset is still there. You're not gonna overreact and be like, I'm gonna shoot him. No, it's it's not like that. 